being made at this level uh, and, and huge international controversies and nothing ever ends up getting built. I can think of at least two, uh, two such things in the last five or six years. So it's in order, yes, to get people's attention. Well, we asked Palestinian-American writer and political commentator Susan Abulawa for her response. Closing this corridor uh, effectively bisects the northern and southern portions of the West Bank, um, further consolidating, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the impossibility of, of the emergence of a contiguous Palestinian state, which, you know, has been something that's been apparent to us for quite some time. Um, and, and that, frankly, is what has destroyed any hope of, of a two-state solution, is this continuous, continuous um, and persistent, rapacious settlement building um, uh, through a process of confiscating property from non-Jews and giving it over to the exclusive use of Jews, who are mostly imported from other nations um, uh, from all over the world. So, um, and I'm not sure, you know, what, what Israel, I mean, I, frankly, it's, it's very telling um, that Israel is so threatened by, by the world just recognizing Palestinians. I mean, that says so much about them and about their intentions. Frankly, if they had an iota of good faith, they should have been the first ones standing in support of this. Um, but, but they don't. And, and this is quite typical of every, uh, every colonial adventure in history um, that, that knows only bullying and, and violence and aggression, and which, is, which is what we've seen from Israel. Um, and it's not just this, you know, this, this uh, announcement of additional illegal colonies on Palestinian land, but they've also, they're also withholding Palestinian money, um, which, you know, which goes to, so, so basically 150,000 um, civil servants in the, in, in the West Bank will, will not be paid their salaries. Teachers will go without salaries, sanitation workers, et cetera. And this is just, this is just another form of, of control that, and bullying that Israel exerts over Palestinians. And I, I think, I think really it shows how, um, uh, it shows how how desperate they are and how isolated they are becoming. I mean, if you look at the vote, uh, it was basically Israel and the United States with a handful of inconsequential nations standing against the entire world. The famous bust of ancient Egypt's Queen Nefertiti has gone on display in Berlin to mark the 100th anniversary of its discovery.